Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are doing day 11 of our transformative love yoga journey and today's theme is going to be inner truth. Finding your truth. We have embarked on a journey and this is all metaphor for life. We've embarked on a journey. We had a calling, we had a mentor, we had an ally. We faced challenges we had the trespass from the past into the new beginnings into the future and we had to slow down and do some inner healing which is always needed in life especially after challenges so after the healing we're going to search within for our inner truth so we can be really truthful with ourselves and sourcing from within or finding that path that resonates with us and finding our inner truth and finding it within rather than asking constantly from friends or family or asking from outside sources for guidance finding that guidance within and today's class is going to be a beginner power yoga in which we will quiet the mind down that's the power of yoga it allows us to quiet down so we can hear the truth that resides within and and sometimes you can call it a truth from above either above or within but just something that is there when we're quiet enough to hear it and remember to flow with strength and ease All right, we'll begin at the front of the mat. Remember today to honor your body, breathe. Do as much as you can, rest as much as you need to. And quiet the mind down, focus on your breath so that you can experience that side effect of yoga, which is calm, peaceful, quiet state of being. Open the palms of the hands forward, roll the shoulders back and down, and just focus on your breath. Keep the chin parallel to the floor, lifting through the crown of the head. Feeling that peaceful state of being within, tapping into that place, a calm place, through a calm breath. Let's bring the hands over the heart and imagine the central axis of the body that divides the body into equal parts of left and right, front and back. Imagine that axis and see how you feel your equilibrium. You can shift your weight from the left to the right foot and see how you feel. Is the left the same as the right? Do you feel one side a little more expanded? Just observe your body, tune into your body. Corners of the lips are smiling. Even the eyes can be smiling. Lengthening through the crown of the head and standing tall. Great, let's open the eyes and bend the knees, sit down, chair pose, lift your hands over the head. Relax the shoulders down, tuck the tailbone under. Look down, make sure that you're shifting your knees further back so you can see your toes. Exhale, keep your knees bent or slightly bent and 
lower down in a forward fold shake your head yes and no wrap your wrist around your elbows and let your arms hang you can shift here left to right beautiful release the hands down on the ground straighten your legs just a little more they don't need to be straight completely keep the knees slightly bent or even just a micro bend and we're going to bring the hands on the shin bones lengthen through the crown of the head and place your hands on the ground step it back plank pull the belly in press the heels away from you Feel the strength of your core and your body. Your breath is calm, peaceful. You're generating strength and power through your breath and the peacefulness of the mind. Trust in your body that it is strong to take you through the practice or through your challenges. and let's lower the knees down on the ground lower down onto your belly elbows into the rib cage cobra open here roll the shoulders back and down lengthen the back of the neck and exhale down dog inhale the right leg up and let's come into a plank one-legged plank bring the knee between the elbows back knee to the right elbow back knee to the left elbow without swinging the leg back and one more time knee between the elbows back knee to the right back knee to the left back and step it through Press the back heel away from you, come up, high lunge. Exhale the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers, open the chest, look up. Release, reach over the head. And here we're going to exhale the left hand on the floor and the right arm up in a twist. Press the back heel up and away from you. great roll onto the outer edge of both feet and step your right foot in front of you lifting here side plank modified great exhale down plank you can bring the knees on the ground and take a chaturanga or a cobra and open either cobra or upside dog upward facing dog great and back optional second chaturanga and exhale downward dog downward facing dog adho mukha svanasana inhale the left leg up now before we begin with the knee tucks spread your fingers wide open and press especially pay attention to the space between the thumb and the index finger press the base of each finger down especially your thumb that will protect your wrists and press that mushy gushy <laughs> area between the thumb and the index finger press it down spread the fingers open and keep them this way i promise this will uh, really strengthen your wrist and the shoulders if you keep this alignment now come into plank with that hand alignment, hand wrist alignment. Left knee between the elbows, left leg back, and now left knee to the left elbow and back, and left knee to the right elbow and back, squeeze the belly. And again, left knee to the center, to the left, and to the right. And press it back, step it through. 
press the back heel away from you and come up high lunge here you will extend the tailbone slightly down and feel that stretch in the hip flexor exhale the hands behind you and reverse your grip if you normally have a grip you prefer just mix it up a little and change the dominant finger by keeping it under that way we're focusing on the moves and we're not thinking <laughs> emptying the mind and quieting it so that we can listen great release inhale reach up exhale right hand on the floor left arm up try not to collapse on your shoulder here keep your legs working you're stepping on your legs mostly roll onto the outer edges of the feet keep the right shoulder over the wrist and bring the left foot in front of you lifting here and release plank a strong plank spread the fingers wide open it's an exaggerated move spread them more than you think you should yes and now maybe chaturanga lower down from your knees open either cobra or upward facing dog adho mukha svanasana adho mukha svanasana and knees back and now downward facing dog lifting the tailbone high inhale the right leg up spread the fingers wide open come into plank and we're gonna bring the knee between the elbows one time and then two times three four five hold squeeze the knee as high as you can into your rib cage step it through press the back heel away from you and come up high lunge open the arms out and we're going to bring twist to the right and bring the left hand onto the right knee right arm back and around look back twist lengthen inhale out of this and we're going to take a nice big step forward to the right foot and we'll bring the left foot either into the shin into the calf or above the knee into the inner thigh and now press the foot into the inner thigh and the inner thigh back into the foot open that knee to the side just a slight elongation of the tailbone pull the belly in feeling the core hands over the heart balancing here and you can reach over the head keep squeezing the foot into the inner thigh or into the calf great from here we're going to bring the left knee into the rib cage and transition back into warrior J, standing onto your right leg press the left leg behind you and level the hips now when we're doing balancing poses we really become present we snap into the present moment because it takes focus you don't have to be perfect or perform them perfectly you can just fall out of it and come back to it the point is you're focusing all right hands on the floor plank lower down chaturanga upward dog ardha mukha svanasana and downward dog
spread the fingers wide open take the left leg up and come into one legged plank five knee tucks let's go move with confidence and strength two three four and five squeeze the knee as high as you can into your rib cage pull the belly in step it through and come up high lunge open the arms out twist to the left drop the right hand onto the left knee and the other hand back in the round look back soften the belly inhale reaching over the head now feel free to have your hands onto your hips for this balancing transition or over the heart bend the back knee because you're gonna push from the back foot so push to standing and find the tree pose that suits you pressing the foot into the inner thigh really helps with balancing and opening that knee out so that we're finding one plane in which the body resides focus on a drishti point something on the floor something on the wall in front of you and your awareness will just sink with that point which helps with balancing and don't worry if you fall out of it don't get frustrated just come back to it breathe it's okay we're not here to do perfect yoga we're here to just breathe and grow and you can reach over the head finding a different level of balancing when the hands are over the head all right hands over the heart bring your right knee forward and now shift back into warrior once you're here level the hips flex the right foot breathe Step it back, hands on the ground, plank, spread the fingers wide open, pull the belly in, chaturanga or belly on the floor, upward dog or cobra, and down dog, breathe. inhale the right leg up come into plank and let's bring the right knee to the right elbow five times try not to swing here too much try to keep the body steady one two three four tap into your core five and now step it through drop the back heel down lining the heels either along the same line or you can step your left heel a little out to the left so your stance is a little wider whichever one works for you bend the right knee and come up warrior one so here we're pressing the right hip back and we're rotating spinning internally the left hip so there, there's somewhat trying to square a little bit reaching over the head feeling the internal dynamics of this pose you can spread your toes open here keep a micro bend in the left knee so that the knee is protected especially some 
people can have hypermobility in the joints. And the opposite, you can be a little too, in your opinion, inflexible, not very flexible. That's fine as long as you just stretch and do yoga without striving for some massive flexibility to be attained. Your body is really protecting you from overstretching. Just maintain, maintain your bo body and your joints with simple stretching and allow your body to tell you how much growth it will happen through yoga. All right, from here, we are going to shift the weight onto the right leg and come into again, warrior thing onto the right leg, balancing here. Let's bring the left hand on the floor, right hand onto the right hip bone, press the back heel up and either stay here or if you feel comfortable you can take revolving half moon opening the right hand up lengthen the crown of the head away from the back heel great step it back in high lunge and lower down plank to chaturanga to up dog, to down dog. Let's take the left leg up, come into plank. Again, spread the fingers open and let's bring the left knee to the left elbow. One, without swinging, two, three, four, five step it through drop the back heel down either heel to heel alignment or you can step it out just a little bending the left knee pressing into the back heel you don't have to have the heel on the floor but pressing down you can keep a micro bend in the right knee reach up and work with squaring the hips here so there's quite a few alignment points in warrior one you don't have to perfect it just feel feel the subtleties of the pose pay attention The hips are working, right hip forward, left hip back. Hands over the heart, shifting the weight onto your front leg. Warrior three. Level the hips, flex the back foot. Now you can take the right hand on the floor and either keep the left hand onto the hip or you can open the arm up into revolving half moon which is a sneak peek into um, more advanced yoga do as much as you can again balancing brings you into the now great release both hands down step it back in high lunge and lower down spread the fingers wide open plank to either belly on the floor chaturanga upward dog down dog lifting the tailbone as high as you can you can keep your knees slightly bent so that your back is straight heels can be off the floor 
if it's effortless for you on the floor but it is not important if they're on the floor sometimes when we bend the knees it allows us if your hamstrings are tight it will allow you to straighten the back and that's the main important thing to keep track of in down dog let's take the right leg up and come into one legged plank one more time this time we'll bring the right knee to the left elbow or towards it one two three four five squeeze step it through drop the back heel down bend the right knee open the hips over towards the left side of your room and come up warrior two you can straighten the front leg and bend the knee a few times here just so that you can feel the pose press into the outer edge of the back foot you can keep the knee slightly bent walk ahead of you soften the face muscles and let's turn the right hand palm of the hand up walk the left hand down the left leg reach here and bend that right knee keep it bent great coming out of this side angle right elbow over the right thigh and an alternative here is to bring the hand down if this works for you don't force it if it doesn't lengthen both sides of the torso here keep pressing into the outer edge of the back foot reach ahead of you exhale down square the hips here and you can lower the left knee down tucking the tailbone under for a little stretch great lift up step it back plank to chaturanga to upward dog to down dog let's take the left leg up come into one legged plank i promise last plank knee tucks left knee to right elbow one two three four five squeeze step it through drop the back heel down open the hips towards the right side of your room and come up warrior two here the hips are opening towards the side of the room the knee is bent the left knee is bent the right knee micro bend and if you look down your knee is pointing forward where the toes are pointed so try to keep that alignment try not to have the knee coming inward turn the left hand up and reach up and over the head and exhale side angle either elbow over the thigh or lower down and you can reach over the head here exhale down and lower that right knee down for a little stretch here
great from here we're going to step it back coming into all on all fours wrist underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips let's take the left leg up leg parallel to the floor hips parallel to the floor right hand forward reach they're reaching away from each other release it down opposite side take the right leg up level the hips square the hips take the left hand forward hello sophie lay down really the heel reaching away from the fingertips and lower down and here we're going to take the right hand palm of the hand facing up through underneath the left shoulder lower the shoulder down on the floor and you can take the left arm up and over the head forward on the floor great slowly come out of this opposite side left hand glides through lower the left shoulder down take the right arm up and over the head soften here slowly rolling out of this and we're going to bring the right knee forward level the hips pigeon pose open the chest here lifting through the chest and lower down keeping the back straight breathe into your hip Focus on your exhalations, allowing the body to relax through calm, slow exhalations. coming up open the chest keep the left hip down and take the left toes under come up one legged down dog row a few times drawing circles with 
the right knee very good let's glide the left leg forward left knee in front of us hips equal distance from the floor so if you're somewhere here with the right hip lifted square them and then level them as well square means they are aligned and we're not pushing one forward and one back and level means they're equal distance from the floor so there is no one side lifting and us resting on one side so even if you are not perfect here try to pay attention to your body and deepen your understanding of where your body is in space that's part of the beauty of yoga we uh, really elongate its spine here lower down or stay up whatever feels good you should feel a nice stretch through the left hip maybe even inner thigh if you have stiffness there and just breathe breathe through the hip inhale coming up tuck your toes under spread the fingers open press back into one legged down dog and draw a few circles with the left knee great let's lower the knees down on the ground cross the feet and bring the legs in front of you or you can come into this seated pose in any other way whichever way you find yourself here let's flex the feet you can reach underneath and grab the flesh from either the sitting bones or even from the thigh and roll it out good now this is going to allow you to go a little deeper in this pose keep the knees just a tiny bit bent and lean forward without trying to bring your head down try to bring your belly away from the hip bones and towards the thighs forward bend breathe inhale coming up open the legs flex the feet pull the toes back in towards you bring your sitting back uh, bones down on um, the floor 
and lower down here just slightly you don't have to go really deep whatever that means for you it is different for every single body so if for me that means belly on the floor this means i'm not going too deep if for you this is far too deep then you can bring your hands behind you and just push yourself into a upright position so that the chest is open the back is wide lengthening through the crown of the head and there is no right and wrong depth of this pose here you can be here and that's perfectly fine for you you can be completely flexible and that's fine for you we're all different so it is very relative what going too deep or not too deep in the pose means to different people so listen to your body if you want to just be here and open the chest this is challenging enough you can walk your hands forward for some of you the quest here is not to achieve some form of um, perfection but to really listen to the body and get to know ourselves better that's the beauty of yoga it allows us to quiet down listen to our inner truth inner truth but also to get to know ourselves better to learn about ourselves through the quietness inhale coming up reaching side to side right elbow over the right knee left elbow over the left knee and reaching up and over one more time change coming out face the right leg and lower down towards it keep flexing the feet and pulling the toes back up and over to the opposite side very good all right bring the legs halfway in shake 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 and let's sit down in a cross-legged position take a nice deep breath through the nose inhale your hands all the way over the head let's exhale the hands over the third eye for always seeing the truth over the lips for always speaking our truth and over the heart for always being truthful to our heart to, for always honoring our heart and let's bow to our hearts for their compassion kindness and love namaste thank you all for joining me today for this class you did great whatever you did it was good enough and i hope that you enjoyed the class let me know in the comments below and let me know if you were challenged by it or if you flew through it make sure to subscribe and to share this class and this channel with your friends and family so that we can keep the message going and the free class is going that's the best way to support the channel and i will see you tomorrow with the next class namaste remember to flow with strength and ease.